Hey guys, Joe here. Um, thought I'd bring you along as we take our original Knight Rider car out of storage. Uh, the weather has improved kind of dramatically here, and we're actually taking this kit car to a show in Ohio this weekend, and this will be the first time I think in two years or more that we've had this car out. So it's been pretty much in storage, uh, sitting against the back wall here in my garage. So um, getting it ready, getting it prepped to take to the show. And I thought, well, maybe this is something you guys wanna see. So let's get this original kit out of storage. Let's get it in our trailer and ready for the show. This is Knight Rider Historians. So this is the first time we've actually had it uncovered, um, probably in nine months, six, nine months. Uh, normally it's not sh kind of shoved in the back of the garage, but we've kind of run into a situation here where, uh, you know, there's too many cars, one too many cars for the garage that we have. So we're going to be rectifying that very soon. Um, but let's just take a walk around and let's see how uh, the old guy's doing. Looks pretty good. We've had it up on dollies. It's the only way we can push it up against the back wall there. Let's see, are we unlocked here? Oh, yes we are. Looks like storage has been kind to the car. Um, we're gonna get the uh, pods and the countdown in before the show. But other than that, everything looks pretty good. No moisture, no rodents, nothing. Well, it helps that we keep it in an insulated, heated garage. So, um, yeah, I think we're in good shape. A little dusty, but we'll get that cleaned up. So let's, um, let's see if we can get it moved. We're gonna have to push it out turn it, get it off the dollies, then we can fire it up, drive it out. All right, here we go. So before I pull the dollies out, some of you guys have been requesting a video on what's underneath kit. What does the underside look like? So let me just take you in there real quick. First of all, do those orange Coney shocks look familiar to you? Actually, they're kind of red. Those are the original shocks from the show. And if you watch the show, all of the cars had their shocks replaced with these Coney shocks. And you can always tell them because they're orange, reddish color. Those are the original ones still on there after all these years. As you can see, apparently in storage, we've developed the leak. Actually, that leak has been an issue with this car for many, many years. The front pump seal on the transmission 
leaks when it sits for a long time. It's on my list of things to do, but apparently my drip tray was not placed properly. So now we have a nice mess to clean up, so that's great. But um, in order to do that, obviously we gotta remove the skid plate, gotta pull the transmission, replace the front pump seal. So, hey, any of you guys out there want to volunteer your shop with a lift and replace the seal on an original Trans Am kit car, let me know. Maybe we can work something out. All right, so what does the underside look like, right? You wanted to know. Let's look. Oh, we've got some cobwebs under here. Well, that's not very appealing, is it? Tow bar receivers. Now, a lot of you guys who have replica cars replicate these, right? This particular car, and I think only this car, at least of, uh, that we know of, had a beefier tow bar receiver. This square tubing is bigger than it is on the other cars. And all of you guys who have replica bars, yours is smaller than this, right? This is a nice, big, beefy one. Um, and then of course we've got the skid plate underneath, which I'm currently using to, uh, on the, the uh, cross member there to jack up the car. But um, yeah, that's how it was done. This uh, tow bar receiver here is welded to this um, metal tubing that runs across there. And then the metal tubing has mounts for the skid plate right here, right there. And then there's two in the back as well. See? That's how they did that. And this bumper we've talked about before is a rubber bumper built by George Barris at Barris Custom Industries uh, in North Hollywood. And many of you have asked, so this is not only rubber, it's rubber and chicken wire. There's chicken wire. If you looked at the back of this, it's uh, coated in chicken wire for reinforcement. And if we look through here, this is one way to kind of tell if it's a rubber bumper or a fiberglass bumper, because a fiberglass bumper, you can see all the way through to the driver's side. On the rubber bumpers, they actually put, it's, it's really hard to see. Let's see if I can bring you in. They put in these uh, aluminum baffles, like support, that screws into the impact bar back here. That's what you're looking at there. So that is a rubber bumper. All right, let's continue on. And if we look over here, you can see the catalytic converter was replaced with a straight pipe. That is original from 1984. And you can see the back mounts of the skid plate there. And what else do we see? I mean, it's in remarkably, remarkably good shape. That is the original exhaust from the show. The muffler, unfortunately, does have a hole in it, but we're going to keep it. Now, one of these sides, one of these sides, yeah. See the giant dent in the, that's the rear seat pan right there. And then there's a big gash right here in that floorboard. That's all from stunts right there. You see that gash? All from stunts from the show. And then the other side, similar. There's a big dent right there. Yeah, original everything, even original brake pads from the show. The brake pads have not been changed. They're in great shape. Okay, the car is back on the ground. Definitely needs probably a wash. It's looking pretty dusty. How's the body? Paint, you know, this car still wears most of its layers of paint, all of its original layers of paint. There's, I don't know, 15 layers of paint on this car. 
because every time it'd get beat up, they'd throw body filler on it, sand it crudely, paint another coat of black on it. And in fact, the front bumper, as you can see here, I think we've pointed this out before, but we've got a lot of cracks in the rubber here. And in fact, this is a new development. We've got the paint chipping off there, but that's what you get with original stuff, right? I mean, we don't, we could strip it down to bare metal and repaint it, but we're not going to do that. We like it original. We like the battle scars, like all of these wonderful spider webs in the paint. They all tell a story. And I like to check this every year to see if it gets worse. And it does a little bit every year, but that's fine. That's what you deal with, with original cars. All right. Well, I really think we need to try and fire it up. Let's see how many cranks it takes before we can get this car fired up. Got to connect the battery first. Let's just check the tires, make sure we've got proper air pressure in them. That one's a little short or a little low. So these tires, as you'll remember, we had tires on them that uh, were beyond their serviceable life, I guess you could say. And we went ahead last year, I think, and replaced them with another set of uh, new old stock Goodyear Eagle GT tires. So um, hopefully these should last for a very, very long time. At least that's the plan. Let's check our, come on. Let's check our front tire here. And that tire's good. Good, excellent. So we're just a little low on that back tire. That's not too bad. Actually, I do have a confession on the driver's side, their back rear, that tire has a leak in it. We gotta take it back to the tire shop. So it was pretty flat, but um, all good now. idle here for a few minutes let it warm up make sure everything's good we're gonna have to top off the um, transmission fluid so but I'll tell you what I've owned a number of Trans Ams over the years and this particular car has always been the most reliable Trans Am it always fires up even after sitting for months and months took a couple cranks fires right up idles nicely drives nice shifts nice i mean i guess what do you expect when you have a trans am that essentially has like 600 miles on it 600 original miles right uh, maybe a few more miles but not many Let's see if the scanner works Look at that. Scanner running on original circuitry. Again, so reliable. 
has worked flawlessly for a decade. Now, while we're doing this, let's check the fog lights. I haven't checked the fog lights in years. Hey, look at that. Fog lights still work too. Original relays and everything. Sounds pretty good. There's your exhaust. Gotta get it loaded in the trailer over there. I'll tell you what guys, this stuff, Lucas Slick Mist does an amazing job at really bringing the shine back out. Look at that. I didn't even wash it. I used the California duster, got all the dust off, used this, and man, did it bring the shine back. Look at that. My buddy Jimmy, Jimmy Monroe, recommended this, and this was the first time I've used it. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, and with that, we are done. We got the car loaded, we got it strapped down. And for those of you uh, keyboard warriors who want to know why we didn't cross these rear straps, we actually can't on this particular car because we are actually strapped in to the original brackets that Universal Studios put on this car and they're just bolted in, they're not welded in and putting stress on them diagonally uh, actually is bending them. So we have to do it this way in order to uh, make this work, but we're not going very far and it'll be fine. We've hauled this car a number of times. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you want to see more videos on this car and um, maybe we can make it happen. All right, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.